Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com, and today we're going to talk about palm sliders and why they should be on your motorcycle race gloves. Okay. Odds are, if you've watched any of my full gauntlet race glove video reviews over the years, you've heard me talk about palm sliders already. We want to open this up by talking about what are they and why are they there, okay? Most of us instinctively, when we fall, we're going to put our hands out to brace for impact. It's kind of hardwired into you. You do that with a standard glove, right, that just has a leather or a kangaroo palm, no slider in that area. A couple of different things can happen. Thing one. If you have enough pressure on it and you're sliding for long enough, maybe you wear through the palm of the glove. That would suck. Thing two, you could load the glove up, maybe pull the seams of the glove apart, just overloading it. Or you could transmit a bunch of energy into your wrist, right? There's a little bone in there called scaphoid bone. It's low blood flow area. You break that thing, it's a really drawn out healing process, right? It can also create a tumble if that thing grabs really hard. For that reason, many years ago, a company called Knox from the UK developed some armor, they're an armor company, to go in that area to help promote a slide and to protect the rider and protect the integrity of the glove in that area. The palm sliders over the years have taken on many shapes and forms. These particular ones are produced by Knox and used by Racer on these gloves. Other brands out there have developed their own proprietary palm slider that'll typically be installed over in this area. Each style has proven over time to be effective. We have a great example here of a pair of gloves, the same model that we're showing you here, the Racer Hypers, that my son Max Van crashed in while racing Supersport in Moto America over this season. One crash was Rainy Curve at Laguna Seca. That was a bummer. And the last one was a small low side at Mid-Ohio last weekend. Each one was fast. Each time his hands ended up on the ground. I want to first show you the palm sliders on this glove. We can get a nice close-up there, Tom. You see what they look like before they've ever had any impact with the ground. And then we'll show you Max's Hypers, two crashes. Specifically in this area right here, you can see there's been a lot of contact there. There's a few millimeters worn off completely, okay? But note the rest of the glove all around it, completely intact. Realistically, you could probably race in these again. You could continue riding in them if that's what your budget called for and you needed to keep going with them because at this point, there's nothing wrong with them. That is their job. They did it perfectly. That's why they're there. And something important to understand too is, you know, some riders who've never ridden with these might think, well, they're going to be in the way. I'm going to notice those when they ride. They're going to be bothersome. They're completely off the grip. You never know they're there, right, until you need them. We highly recommend if you're going to be on the racetrack or even on the street and you want the best of the best protection, make sure you're wearing a glove that has a palm slider system already installed. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next ride.